All right, that's a little nerve-wracking still flying over here. Things are doing pretty good. It's re it's kind of bumpy out there. I didn't talk a whole lot while I was in the air because I'm paying attention to what's going on with the airplane. Still working some kinks out, still getting my confidence back in flying this airplane. It's dropped uh, 2, 0 0.02 inches in uh, Tracy Municipal Airport. Since I taxied over here, Tracy Traffic Centurion Three Alpha Tango taxi from the Fuel Island to the Three Zero Run out directly. Tracy. It's been about a month since we finished installing the engine and performing that initial break-in flight. That flight was successful, but not without issue. There was a low-pressure oil leak. This is hard to detect because it's not leaking when it's on the ground. But after about 30 minutes of flying, there was a bit of clean, wet oil around the engine compartment. Brakes, fuel in the proper tank, trim for takeoff, flight controls. Three and correct. Instruments, you are not Tracy climbing or descending. Blue over brown. Not turning, not turning. Extra full rich. 1700 RPM. Turn it to the left. Mag out. 70 drop. Ryzen manifold pressure. Ryzen EGT. Right downwind departure to the southeast, Tracy traffic. Cover. Left downwind departure, southeast, Tracy traffic. Left mag out. Same drop. Same rise. Same rising temperature and everything. Looks good. Oil in the prop. Everything looks good. Hard idle. And we still have an engine. Tracy traffic, Centurion 3 Alpha Tango, departing runway 30, left downwind departure. Tracy. Because the aircraft sat for so long, or possibly from previous maintenance, the landing gear power pack had an internal leak and needed to be overhauled. The system would pump up to 1500 PSI and it would start to leak down and when it reached 1100 PSI it would pump it back up. So we would replace that. Tracy traffic, Centurion 3 Alpha Tango, left downwind, 3-0. Tracy, I'm going to come outside you, Garrett. All right, sounds good. We see you, too. We finally got everything dialed in, and the engine is running great. I've put about seven hours on the airplane so far. But the weather hasn't been cooperating. I've been trying to run the engine hard during the break-in process, but it's been really bumpy, and the maneuvering speed of the airplane is 135 knots. When running the engine at the top of the green, the airplane wants to go 150 plus. For this flight, I decided to go fly around the town that I live in, and then head over to San Jose to visit some friends. Because it's a clear day with lots of visibility, the radio traffic today was very significant. Norco Approach, Centurion 503 Alpha Tango, just over Crow's Landing, uh, 2700, flight following to Reed Hill View, Romeo Hotel Victor. Number 503 Alpha Tango, North Cow, departure, radar contact, Fox 0360. 0360, three Alpha Tango.
Alpha Tango, runway down right, clear to land. 301 right, clear to land, 3 Alpha Tango. Okay, gas on the fullest tank. Undercarriage, down and locked, 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 green. Mixture full. Prop full. Laps. Flat 96 Hotel, run with direct left, clear for the option. Traffic two mile finals for the parallel centurion. Uh, runway through and left is clear for the option. Delta contact ground, 3 Alpha Tango. Radio view ground, Centurion 503 Alpha Tango, just off 31 right at Delta 2. Centurion 503 Alpha Tango, radio view ground, taxi via Zulu, have a great day. Via Zulu, thanks, 3 Alpha Tango. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your comments and your subscription. We recently passed 10,000. Stay tuned for more videos where we actually travel in the airplane.